Okay, um, what I want to show you guys here is uh, this is my Garmin GTU10. Uh, I've been using it to track, um, flying it on my Phantom to, as a GPS tracker. Uh, Garmin is going to be discontinuing this. Uh, I'm thinking within the next uh, 6 to 12 months. It operates on an AT&T, a G2, uh, a 2G service. So I've been looking around for another uh, tracker and I've uh, decided on the drone mods uh, UAV locator which you see here on the right um, the uh, UAV locator is 55 grams the uh, Garmin GTU-10 is 45 grams so it's not much of a weight difference they're just about the same physical size um, the UAV locator uh, is a little bit more square uh, 10 grams heavier um, the website for the UAV locator uh, and I'll put the link in the description it says uh, the drone mods UAV locator is a small lightweight, self lightweight self-powered standalone device that attaches to UAV if any time you need to retrieve its location you simply call the cell phone number assigned to your device so this here device has a SIM chip in it uh, it works off GPS, it also uses triangulation uh, of cell towers, it doesn't rely on any one cell carrier. Uh, the documentation says it uses the same um, technology as 911 uses to triangulate your cell phone location. <clears throat> so basically what happens here is there's a power button at the bottom, you uh, hold in it for three seconds and the unit uh, will start flashing green and you should see this here it'll start flashing like every five seconds okay and the documentation says it takes about 15 to 60 seconds to fully initialize uh, what's going to happen is once it does fully initialize it will send you an email uh, and tell you that uh, the unit has been initialized so what I'll wait for on my phone is an email um, what we'll wait for is an email on my phone that says the unit was initialized and once that email comes in uh, then what we'll do is uh, I'll simply call the cell phone number that's attached to this device and what will happen is it'll send me a Google map link uh, with latitude and longitude and it'll uh, open up a hyperlink right to um, a map with the location of uh, this device. You've got mail. Okay, so I just got an email that says that the device was initialized. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll simply make a phone call to the device. And I'll put it on speaker. This is what you guys, this is what you hear when you call the device. The subscriber you have dialed is not available or has traveled outside the coverage area. Please try your call again later. Message O H one. Okay, now that's the message that the manufacturer says you're supposed to get. And what will happen is I'll get an email and a text message um, with the location. And again, it says it takes about 15 to 60 seconds to get that location. Oh. Right, so, I took so here's my message. It says uh, UAV locator. Um, this is what the uh, this is what the link looks like. You can see it here. I'll click the link to open it up on the phone. Open the app, I guess, the Google Maps app. So that's uh, pretty accurate. 
sitting in the house, um, you know, on my first floor, I got a floor above me in the middle of the house pretty much. So it's, it's fairly accurate. Um, I'll give it a try tomorrow while I'm flying. Uh, you know, I'll give it a call and see uh, how it goes. Maybe I'll actually try it in the car first. I'll drive around. I'll park somewhere and uh, see how it does. I'll do that first. Um, but that's it. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I guess the next thing I'll do is look for uh, some sort of mounting option for uh, for this unit. Okay, thanks.